Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I basically wanted to show you guys how I created this look right here. It's a really nice, like, green, um, smoky eye, kind of cat eye situation here. Um, I absolutely love how it turned out. It's not something that I would normally do, but I really like it. So I wanted to show you guys how I created it. Alright guys, so let's get started. So before I go into the makeup, I just want to let you guys know I am wearing a wig today. It's from Bella Me. It's their um, like synthetic wigs. Um, so if it looks obvious that I'm wearing a wig or it looks really fake or it doesn't look real, um, just ignore that for this video. It's my first time ever trying one on. So I kind of like tried to make the baby hairs, but like I wasn't as successful. So I feel like it looks okay though. It looks way better than when I like first tried it on originally out of the box. So I'm going to start off with the Fenty Pro Filter Primer and the Fenty Foundation. Um, I am in the shade 300. It's probably going to be a little bit dark, so let's just kind of go with the flow and see how it looks. But yeah, I'm going to use these two together. As cute as I want it to look. Okay, so yeah, let's do some brows quickly so that when I conceal, I can, like, fix up the brows, too. I'm going to use my MAC Brow Powder. I absolutely love this. It has, like, this nice little, like, light brown ashy kind of color. And again, I'm going to do, like, a soft feathery brow, nothing too crazy. I mean, that's always the goal. Whether it turns out like that, um, I can't guarantee. So as you guys can see, soft and feathery clearly didn't work out, um, but that's fine. We'll just, we're just going to go in with concealer and thin them out a bit. So I'm going to be using the Fenty Beauty Concealer. I'm going to be using a lot of Fenty, kind of like just out of like curiosity to see how the products work together with each other. So I'm in the shade 260 for the concealer, and I'm just going to apply that in my normal concealer areas and sculpt out my brows. And because I went a little bit lighter with the foundation, I'm going to go heavier with the concealer wherever, like, I need coverage. Okay, so for the eyes, I'm going to use the Sigma Warm Neutrals Palette. I absolutely love this palette, guys. It's actually, like, such a unique color combination for um, neutrals, so I absolutely love it. I'm going to use that. So as always with any look, I start with a warm brown shade in my crease. So I'm going to go in with Toasty. And I'm just going to work that into the crease. Although this is going to be, like, a smoky look, I don't want it to be, like, too dark kind of want like a light smoky so we're not going to take the colors too far up next we're going to take a smaller brush and we're going to go into after hours which is like this like kind of brownish green color so as you guys can see we're concentrating most of it on the outer corner and then slowly just bringing in to the inner corner and then I'm going to take a little bit of henna and I'm just going to take very little and just kind of buff it over all right so now we're going to go into the star eyeshadow which I'm super excited about it's actually this shade right here it's called fool's gold I'm actually going to pick that up on my finger and then apply that This is like a very, oh shit, there's a lot of fallout with this. Um, this is like a very like um, textured shade, so it has like a lot of specks of gold glitter, which I absolutely love. It just looks like an explosion of like green and gold on my eyelids. Man, I probably should have put powder before I did this. 
So I'm going to take a little bit of this shade Charmer right there, like the pinky shade. I'm going to pop that into the inner corner to give it a little bit of a brightening effect. Then I'm going to go into the shade right over here. Crouch line. And because this brush already had a little bit of after hours on it, it kind of gave me the perfect mixture of both the shades. So I don't need to go in with any more dark shades. I'm kind of happy with how it looks. If I'm being completely honest with you guys, I don't even feel like I need to set my face right now. Like, it's pretty good. It's nice and smooth. It feels matte. But just to be on the safe side, I'm going to do a very light dusting of powder. So we're going to stick with the theme and we're going to use the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Setting Powder. Okay, so now we're going to go into lashes. I'm going to use the House of Lashes Heartbreaker Lashes. Alright, so now we're going to go ahead and bring our features back to life. So I'm going to start off with contouring. And for my contour, I'm going to use the Sigma Sculpting uh, Highlight and Contour Palette. It's so pretty. It has a lot of pretty shades. So I'm going to use that for contour. So I'm picking up a uh, throw shade, this middle shade. And I'm just going to contour. I'm actually just kind of bronzing with this. I'm going to take this shade Faking It. Alright, for my highlight, I'm going to use this one and this one. Alright, so now we're going to do some blush. I just feel like I need a touch of color to my face. So I'm going to use the Sigma Blush Palette. This is such a pretty palette. has so many unique shades of blush. I'm going to mix uh, Tiger Lily and Pet Name. Alright, so now we're just going to go out to lips. I'm going to use um, a couple of Fenty colors. I'm actually going to line with the Kylie Cosmetics Lip Liner in Coconut. And then I have these three Fenty colors because I want to do like a nude. So I have Unbutton, I have Single in like the matte lipstick, and then I have the gloss. So we're just going to do a combination of all three and see what we get. Alright, so I lined my line, my lines, my eyes with the Marc Jacobs um, Highliner Gel Crayon, my favorite eyeliner of life. But I also feel like I just want to add a touch of liquid liner on top. So I'm going to take the Sigma Liquid Pen Eyeliner. So the last step is to use Smashbox Primer Water. This is amazing, just melts the makeup into your skin. Alright guys, so here is the final look. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, just something really sultry. So yeah, as always, if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Also hit the notification bell so you guys will be notified every time I post videos. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye.